Welcome. In this module, we're going to take a look at a case study for Java application security hardening. And the resource we're using as the benchmark is uh, the Carnegie Mellon Software Engineering Institute. You can see the URL on the screen, and this is an excellent place for Java, C, C++, Perl language, Android, and a few other uh, platforms for the software security. Now, this is the eight-step uh, security hardening methodology which Delta Tech uses uh, in our company, and we propose this in our consulting assignments with customers, and you should certainly use this. Uh, these are the eight steps, and they are always the same, irrespective of what the asset is. In this case, the asset is a Java application. Now, if you go to the Software Engineering Institute uh, webpage for Java security, uh, for the URL that was shown on the first slide, this is what the layout looks like if you go to the web page. And these are all hyperlinks which you can click on. So there are about um, 18 or 19 rules which you can see on the left side. And then there are some recommendations which you can see, uh, and there are about 10 or 12 recommendations which you can see on the right side. And these are, you know, for example, some of the rules for Java are rule zero, input validation and data sanitation, starting from the top, rule one, declarations and initialization, rule two, expressions, and then you run all the way down um, and it shows you uh, the entire set of rules and recommendations on the right side. So let's take a look at uh, rule seven um, and uh, the particular control that we're gonna look at just as an example in this module. And then you can look at the entire details in, on the web page is prevent exceptions while logging data. Now exceptions that are thrown while logging is in progress can prevent successful logging unless special care is taken. Failure to account for exceptions during the logging process can cause security vulnerabilities, such as allowing an attacker to conceal critical security exceptions by preventing them from being logged. Hence, programs must ensure that data logging continues to operate correctly, correctly even when exceptions are thrown during the logging process. Now, this is an example of the uh, non-compliant code in the red border. And this is the format which is used on the SEI uh, website. Whenever there's a red border, it shows a non-compliant code. And the non-compliant code example, this non-compliant code example writes a critical security exception to the standard error stream. Writing such exceptions to the standard error stream is inadequate for logging purposes. First, the standard error stream may be exhausted or closed, preventing recording of subsequent exceptions. Second, the trust level of the standard error stream may be insufficient for recording certain security critical exceptions or errors without leaking sensitive information. If an I.O. error were to occur while writing the security exception, the catch block would throw an I.O. exception and the critical security exception would be lost. Finally, an attacker may disguise the exception so that it occurs with several other innocuous exceptions. And this is the correct way to do it. Uh, the compliant code is always shown in the blue border on the SEI website. This compliant solution uses Java util logging.logger, the default logging API provided by JDK 1.4 and later. Use of other compliant logging mechanisms such as log4j is also permitted. Typically, only one logger is required for the entire program. So some excellent uh, rules and um, mechanisms advised here. And this was just one control that we've seen for the Java application security hardening. And you can see the entire set on the SEI website. That's all that we have for this module. Thank you.